Good evening to you all as the teams emerge here at Wembley on what is a humid evening in a stadium that is filled with noise and high in emotion. The two leaders, Harry Kane and Andre Ayew, leading the way. The winner takes their team a step closer to the pinnacle of world football. But first, the anthems, starting with England. God save our gracious Queen. Long live our noble Queen. God save the Queen. Send her victorious. Happy and glorious, let her reign over us, God save the Queen. And here we go, semi-finals don't come around yes, that often, so don't Can go away anyway. England, England yes, against Ghana is live and it's next. It. Yes JJ, come on England. Of course, do you have any doubts? As expected. Yeah guys, come on, it's the World Cup semi-final man. James! The game's starting and dinner is ready. James, come down, food's ready. I've got to go, so sorry guys. In a bit, JJ, it's coming home! Time for din -dins. I won't tell you again. <laughs> Get down here. Please, go sit down, come on. <laughs> that looks so good, and thank you, husband. Yeah, all right, Tessie, right, come on. Yeah, yeah, you wait your turn, you get it, girl. Huh? Let's eat that. Girl. You're grown, girl. She's not grown anymore. She's <laughs> she will grow, she's out. <laughs> we don't need her to grow. <laughs> she's not nice out of house. Keep her young, perpetual. Yes, please. I'm not allowed to start dating until she's 55. James, where's the gunner shirt auntie got you? Hmm. Are you not going to wear it? You should be supporting Ghana and showing some African pride. Mm -hmm. I get it. Tanzania's where the hat is at, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, my nephew's hat is in the village where you money-hungry chagas live. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, that's a little unfair. It's one family meal, guys. Come on. You know your jollof. It stinks. <gasps> and, and I think the Nigerians do it better. And you bloody Tanzanian! You should do this more often. Chief Rabbi, wear your Ghana shirt for Auntie. Bioko. James Lucas Kwebena Abadi Juma. What did he say? Something you don't say to your elders. Ah, what? It's time. <laughs> Interesting. I think it's cultural Bragoro time! <gasps> Oh, I still remember F was one. They grow up so fast, don't they? Cultural Bragoro? Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Bragoro? What's cultural Bragoro? It's tree for puberty. So it's... Cultural puberty, my friend. <laughs> Technically, it's puberty for a girl. So it made sense for Effie. But why change tradition? Don't look at me like that. I'm helping you. You brought this on yourself. You've learned about the colonization of Africa in school, right, James? What kind of school did you send him to? An English one. Mm. You know about slavery, right? Slavery is a part of colonialism where one nation takes over another and exploits it. Bloody colonizers. Mm. But Operation Legacy covered over those crimes. The British Empire. Wait, they're good, no? Mark Rashford has an MBE. He's a member of the British Empire, right? Rashford? Yay, British Empire! They are responsible for the unspeakable horrors of our people. That's not true. That didn't happen. Mum. I'm good my friends to watch the match. No, you're not. You're going to sit down and listen to this. No, I'm not. Plus, even if it is true, we obviously have good stuff now. And it was bad before, but we're all good now. Oh, tell that 
to your Juma ancestors, huh? Who sacrificed under the British Empire? Who sacrificed for you? Hey. What is this nonsense, huh? Who are these silly children? Who's that? Probably one of his aunts speaking that garnish. Hey, free JJ, let me support England. This is a free country. Yeah, free JJ, free JJ. Those are your so-called friends. Huh. He called it garnish. Hmm. That is why you want to support England, huh? Yeah, because this is my home. This is your home, and it will always be. But that, that right there is part of your roots. Ghana is good. It is part of your heritage. It's a nice, nice place. But I know a place that's just as nice, if not better, Tanzania. Now, son, that's not really our sport. Uh, we're better at running. Long distance is our game. I thought Mo Farah and Ethiopians were the best at long distance running. <laughs> also, <laughs> Freddie Mercury is one of us. And that, James, is your heritage as a second generation immigrant. Hell, you like Black Panther. And Wakanda is an African country untouched by colonialism, slavery. You care about these things, don't you? Well, that was some good family bonding, huh? <laughs> this might just be the best gen off in Africa. Mm -hmm. I told you so. <laughs> Chances from Sterling, Wasako and Rashford, but nothing to break the deadlock. Don't go away anywhere, because the second half is on its way next. Eh, hey, what, what happened to your English shirt? I spent 80 pounds on that shirt. You're digging through that bin to get it back.
The crowd are screaming. England, playing from the back at this moment, it's a dangerous game to play. Stones to Walker, squares it to Maguire. Maguire takes a touch swipe. Andre Ayew, Ayew as the ball runs, it hits it back. Ayew, at the dying seconds of the game, Ghana are going to the World Cup final.